Habari, it's Akachan no Tatsumaki, and I know I'm, I may be a little late reviewing this movie, but I literally just saw Justice League like an hour ago, and I decided it would be appropriate to uh, review a, a, a somewhat recent movie. Kakate Koi. Um, when, I, when, I, uh, when the movie first started, from there, I knew just as from many of the views I saw, it was a pickup from uh, Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. And pretty much the movie mostly focused around Batman and not Superman. And when I first saw it, I thought most of the movie was going to circulate with him and he may be eventually the heroic climax to the movie and whatnot. But spoiler alert, end up being Superman come in, being Steppenwolf and whatnot. Uh, when I saw the movie, I knew I knew for a minute they had to make a lot of reprehensive uh, uh, for uh, substitute superheroes they couldn't put in the movie due to you know casting or whatnot. Like you know you don't see uh, Green Lantern because I guess they can. I get my guess is they probably want to pick up from Ryan Reynolds and considering uh, Green Lantern was a good movie, they didn't use him. I mean, they hinted during their fight with Steppenwolf that mortals, Atlanteans, and and, and Themyscarans, and and all of them were fighting Steppenwolf, who wanted to collect these three cubes to more or less turn Earth into his own haven and whatnot. And during the flashbacks when he showed them fighting them, they uh <clears throat> had uh they had Green Lantern. Like or at least a, a green a, some one from Lantern Corp fight one of them, so I guess that was a hint that yeah Green Lantern is in the movie but not but it was hinted that more or less anyone from Lantern Corp was included but that's besides the point. Uh, actually, in a certain in certain case scenario, I actually did like the concept that they did it. Uh, they did it in the style. Where they didn't bring all the superheroes at once together, and pretty much that's a movie. Like the only thing I actually kind of liked about the movie, to be honest, is how every superhero who eventually would become part of the Justice League um, had their own little sub stories or their subplots that made up of the whole plot in the movie. Like one woman was in a bank, she stopped the bank heist, and. Aquaman was seen a hero by his foreigner people and whatnot, and Flash visited his dad and he was an undercover superhero and all that. I like the fact that he had mostly subplots of it, and actually for the most part, I thought even in that concept it was way more superior. In the storytelling concept was it kind of had more. It was seen it more superior than like uh, Suicide Squad. But the overall movie itself, it kind of really put, it would actually, it kind of put me in mind the Suicide Squad. Like, they hoist up everybody in place and ship them off and whatnot to do the main plot, whatever. And, uh, as well as seeing the movie, I was actually kind of thinking, uh, more of the Avengers. The movie, it, it, it widely reminded me of the Avengers, which would kind of make me really poised at one point. And really, even the whole concept of stepping, stepping wolf, uh, trying to get the three mother cubes to turn Earth into his world, I kind of thought that concept leaned too far to, uh, uh, to um, Transformers. Uh, let's see. I didn't really care for the C the, the CGI. It could have been way better and whatnot. And they also hinted Dark Side, so there would be a potential. Uh, Justice League 2, 10 out of 10, the main takers might be uh, Dark Side, considering, believe it or not, the DC, the DC Cinematics is trying to keep up with MCU. The whole concept, they fight these specific antagonists for a while, and then they fight the main antagonist, the main mastermind of it, Thanos, and I'm guessing that's, uh, that would be DC Comics uh, uh, version of Thanos. It would be uh, step. It would be dark side. They only hinted them at the end. Uh, you know, pretty much. That's all I gotta say. But, but uh, 
I mostly didn't appreciate the concept how Superman pretty much saved the day, which of course something you expect, but I'm saying they already hoisted up these characters for you to for, for the viewer to enjoy or for the viewer to, to understand. And the fact that they completely spoiled it with introducing Superman at the end and him beating Stephen Wolf and saving the day, you know, comic book style. I didn't really care for that concept because it seemed it's so smushed into a plot that's already been finished. Um, uh, yeah, I didn't like that concept. And I especially didn't like the, 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 uh, the Raycon or the contradiction to compared to that, to Batman v Superman and, uh, Justice League, because that the end of Batman v Superman, you actually you actually see Superman is quote unquote killed when he charges at I guess uh, Doomsday with the Kryptonite Lance, and they both die. Yet at the end, when he's buried, you see the dirt rising up, which represent that he was coming back. Yet in this movie, they actually had to send him back by putting him into a Krypton-ish like Lazarus pit and putting one of the cubes and using the Flash's lightning to charge it to revive him. Uh, yeah, it, it, part, it was a lot going on with that part. Then he turned on them. Although, yeah, okay, I didn't really care for most of the, the, the overall introduction of Superman. I felt like it was unneeded. It felt like it was just much that uh, really, honestly, and somewhere in the middle of that movie, it started really getting boring to me. I actually started to luck out in that movie, to be honest. And really, actually, the only saving grace of it was, like, towards the end when they introduced uh, Deathstroke and whatnot. And I thought that was pretty cool. And they were hitting, and, and, and Lex Luthor hinted that he's going to create his own in uh, Justice League, probably his Injustice League or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but my overall uh, uh, rating for the movie, I'm going to have to say uh, damn, it's actually a hard one because I really didn't care for it. It kind of got really boring and I kind of knew it was going to be your really typical uh, superhero movie. Which it is. It is your really standard, typical Avengers-like movie. And that's kind of really the most disappointing part because I thought it would be finally... A, because really, I think this will be finally the time that uh, that uh, DC, the DCU, the DC Cinematics could step out of uh, the MCU uh, shadow. But Justice League failed to do that. Uh, but my overall score, I'm gonna have to reverse say adequate, near, nearly leading to obsolete. Like it's between there. Uh well, yeah, that's about it. And uh. And uh, considering, uh, considering I'm on the subject matter of superhero movies, I'm going to have to give a personal shout out to Black Panther. It did really good. Personal shout out. And uh, I hope in the future, uh, uh, DCU can, uh, DC, the DC Semantics can uh, finally uh, uh, catch up while having to try to be like Avengers. And a personal word to uh, Zack Snyder. How can, how, how can, you go to good movies that nearly won, that's that been anonymate, an, an, nominated and praised like Watchmen in 300 to go into movies like B versus Superman, Batman versus Superman, the Justice League. I'm just saying, it seemed like his direct, his director talent or ship, if you please, is kind of really crippling. So yeah, uh, share your thoughts down below, subscribe, notification, Give thumbs up and I'll see you next year. Next time, man.